In this video, I will show you how hackers can use Shell GPT with ChatGPT to become root on a web server. Before the video starts, a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. Everything I'm showing you is on my system in my network. You are not allowed to commit any crimes and I don't want to motivate you to commit any crimes. So please stay legal and use this knowledge in this video just for educational learning purposes. Thank you. I've already created a video on how to use Shell GPT. Shell GPT is ChatGPT inside Kali Linux. So you can use the large language model of OpenAI to generate suitable shell commands that you can execute inside your terminal. All you need to do is typing the command sgpt and behind that with dash dash shell you say what you want to do and you can say it in natural language. For example, give me a command to print the word hello to the console and after a few seconds you get the answer echo hello. And now you have three options. First option execute the command. Second option, describe the command. So you say, ChatGPT, please tell me the parts of this command so that I can understand what my system will do afterwards or A for abort. But how can hackers use this tool to become root on a web server? Well, first of all, I tell you something about the lab setup. As you can see, I have two virtual machines running Kali Hack 3 is my attacker machine that I have here and Metasploitable 2 is the machine I'm going to attack. Metasploitable 2 is an intentionally vulnerable virtual machine that you can use to start pen testing in a legal area. This is for green hat hackers, which means hackers that are still learning how to pen test systems. This is not illegal. You can use Metasploitable 2 for educational purposes. I've already created a video where I show you how to install Metasploitable 2 inside VirtualBox and assign a specific net network to this system. Speaking of net networks, both machines are running inside the same network. For that, I've created a net network um, which is called pen testing and both machines are inside this net network so they can ping each other. CaliHack3 is the machine I'm going to use to attack Metasploitable 2. CaliHack2 is this machine and Metasploitable 2 is this machine. The address of my net network is 10.0.2.0 forward slash 24. First things first, I can use the command ifconfig to see what my specific IP address inside the net network is. I am the attacker by the way. My IP address is 10.0.2.22. But how can I find the Metasploitable 2 machine, my victim machine, inside the net network from the attacker system? Well, it's very easy. We use shell GPT for that. We start sgpt with the command sgpt. After that, I define a chat and the chat, for example, can be web server. That means shell gpt knows that there is a command history that has been generated with shell gpt when I use the web server chat. Okay. After that, I say dash dash shell and I can use a prompt, for example, like scan all the machines in the network 10.0.2.0 forward slash 24. Enter and shell GPT generates a suitable command for this. As you can see, shell GPT suggests to use Nmap for this. I'm performing a ping sweep on my network. Well, this is the correct command. I say execute the command, type enter, and then Nmap is performing this command. After a few seconds, I can see the result. This is my IP address. I've already looked up with ifconfig 10.0.2.22. And the machine that stands out is 10.0.2.21. This could be our Metasploitable 2 machine. Okay, what's the next step? Well, the reconnaissance. So I want to scan the machine with the IP address 10.0.2.21 and try to find out what services are running in which versions on this machine. For that, I can use shell GPT, sgpt to start shell GPT, dash dash chat web server to say I'm referring to my 
web server chat with the command history I've already created and then dash dash shell with the following prompt. Scan the machine 10.0.2.21 to find the services and versions running on it. I click enter and shellgpt generates a suitable command for me. As you can see, shellgpt suggests to perform a version scan with nmap, which is good because we need both the services running on the system and the specific versions to find out which version is vulnerable. We execute the command and the nmap scan starts. After a few seconds, we get this result. So you can see there are many ports open and now we can try to find a vulnerable service. What we can do is manually trying all these different versions. So for example, I can use the service FTP in the version 2.3.4. I copy it to the clipboard and then again perform the following prompt. Search for an exploit for VSFTBD 2.3.4. Enter and it gives us the following command. Search exploit VSFTBD 2.3.4. What is this command doing? Well, it opens searchploit and searches for this version of FTP running on our target machine. I execute the command. As you can see, we have two hits, namely a Ruby file and a Python file. Since I'm starting a YouTube series on Python for pen testers, we use this Python file to perform our exploit. So we copy this into the clipboard and add another prompt. Use the exploit we have found with searchploit to attack the machine 10.0.2.21. Well, if we execute this command, we get a command that is not suitable for us because it just says python 49757.py and then the IP address. I can try to execute this command, but of course it can't open the file slash home slash Kali. 49 and so on and so forth. So what can we do? Well, we can say the following. Try to locate the exploit on the system. And I say enter. I get the command locate 49757.py. I execute it and I can see this is the location of our exploit. I copy this to the clipboard and send this command again. But this time I use the updated exploit location. Enter. We get this updated command, execute it, and as you can see, success shell opened. Now I enter the command, who am I, to check who I am, and as you can see, I am root on our target machine. This is obviously not the only way how ChatGPT can be used for ethical hacking. In my new video series, Ethical Hacking with ChatGPT, I will show you many different techniques and ideas so that you can use ChatGPT for your ethical hacking practices. I hope you stay tuned. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.